So to start with, we're going to make a basic image that's going to serve as the container for the stamina bar. I'm going to make mine 500 by 30. You can make yours whatever you want and put it whatever you want. I'm just going to have mine in the center of the screen because it's a video and you need to be able to see it. I'm also going to give it a semi-transparent black background. So then I'm going to call that image stamina bar container because it's always good to name things so you know what they are. And then I'm going to create another image inside that image that's going to be called stamina bar. And I'm going to anchor that one to all four sides so that it spreads out and fills the entire of the image. And then I'm going to give it a color, which I started off with green, but then I changed my mind to blue because it's stamina, not health, and green is more healthy. Give it whatever color you want. Now, because the stamina bar image is anchored to the outsides of the stamina bar container, we can change the length of the stamina bar by just adjusting the right value in the rec transform. Next up, we're going to create a script to control our stamina bar, which I'm just going to call stamina bar, and we're going to put it on the stamina bar container. The first thing we're going to want to do in here is create a reference to a stamina and max stamina values that we can use to adjust the stamina bar, and then also I'm going to give it a range so that I can set it in the inspector quite easily, and we also need a reference to the rec transform of the stamina bar itself. Then, just so I don't forget, we're going to quickly go into Unity and set the stamina bar value in the inspector, and also you'll see we have a nice little slidey bar that goes up to 4000. So we want to use the max stamina value to make sure that our stamina never goes over that max stamina value, which we're going to do with a set of if statements in the update. That way, if we ever set the stamina value from a different script in the game time, we can always make sure that the stamina doesn't go over max stamina. But also, we're going to put it in the onValidate function. That way, if we set the stamina in the inspector, we also can't make it go over the max stamina. So to make the stamina bar actually work, we have to work out the percentage of the stamina out of the overall maximum stamina, and also we have to work out the percentage unit of the stamina bar itself, bearing in mind that the stamina bar is normalized from 0 to 1. And then we can multiply the stamina bar units by the stamina percentage and set the width of the stamina bar to that amount. And then if we jump back into Unity and fiddle around with the stamina bar slider, you can see that the stamina bar itself actually moves and it never goes over the maximum amount of stamina because we have our checks in place to stop that. And that's basically all there is to it, but I think we can do a little bit better. Like for example, we don't need the onValidate function because when the game's running, the update function is always going to keep that stamina value in check below the max stamina. And also I think we can reduce this to uh, less code. So we'll start off by replacing that if statements with ternary statements, and also we're going to move all our calculations into one line rather than having them spread out all over the place. But to do this, we're going to need to know the width of the stamina bar, which we'll do by caching the width at the start. And if we jump back into Unity, you can see that everything still works, which is always a bonus. Yay! But if we really want to reduce the lines of code, we can put all of this on one line, making one single super speedy stamina bar snippet. And once again, we'll do a quick check to make sure everything still works. And finally, because the only way we know it's a stamina bar is because we say it's a stamina bar, we need to give it a label so that the players know it's a stamina bar when they look at it. Stamina bar. And finally, we can do one last check to make sure everything works. And that's the end of the video. I'm sorry it went on for so long. I do tend to ramble sometimes, but I've tried to edit out all the unnecessary stuff. Hope you enjoyed it. The code will be in the description below. And all that's left to do now is to thank my Patreons. Thanks, of course, go to anyone who wants to support me on Patreon. But special thanks, as always, go to the Sugar Daddy slash Mummeteer supporters who are Dave Maldine, Reg Reed, Gabriel White, Aaron Clark, Mr. Drunken Dragon, and you guys, Crab Cake and Julian Peckelis. So that's all for now. I'll be back soon with another video. And if you like this video, what the hell is wrong with you?